Hi there, it's Ken with RogueDeckBuilder.com here with another brew using Immortal Servitude. This one revolves around Lotlith Troll and Pack Rat as our discard engine. It also is running three mulches and three grizzly salvages as another way to fill up our graveyard. Uh, I'm liking this deck so far. Nothing is very too interesting about the lands, just the duels, uh, swamps and forests. I thought about using uh, the guild gates as well to help the the fix, but I think it's more important to guarantee their lands come into play untapped rather than have a fix. Um, so let's see, we're including Deathrite Shamans because they're, they're one of the most amazing one drops, of course, in this deck, being both black and green. And then Wasteland Vipers, very good as well, as it can give Blood Rush to a Trampled Lot Literal, making it only have to deal one damage to the blockers and the trample damage, the rest of the trample damage goes through. Also very good one drop. It's a, it can stall until we get our, our Immortal Servitudes out to fill our board back up with, with one casters. Then I'm running, running the Zombie Package with Diagraph Ghouls and Grave Crawlers. This gives the deck a more aggressive feel as well as having a card that can come back from our graveyard without Immortal Servitude. And then we have the Typhoid Rat, which is another Death Toucher, great for stalling, and also pumps up our Pack Rat. And yeah, that's just basic, basically the gist of the deck. I haven't played any matches yet, but it should be fun. On the sideboard, I am running two Abrupt Decays. Probably going to go up to four here. Probably going to cut these treasure finds for four Abrupt Decays. And Golgari Charm. Golgari Charm is necessary for to kill Rest in Peace. And it's also very good. This ability that regenerates all the creatures I control is very good as well. And... Who knows, even the all creatures get minus one, minus one, since I have a way to bring mine back. And a lot of these are actually two toughness, like two toughness there, two toughness here, two toughness on the Deathrite Shaman. That the Golgari Charm could be a one-sided wipe in some occasions. Then we have the, the Ulvenwad Tracker. I was thinking about using more of these because it works very well with the Typhoid Rats and the Wasteland Vipers. So I might actually cut some stuff out of this and put in more more trackers. Maybe the mulches. We'll see how it goes. We've got three Appetite for Brains in the side and two Victim of Knights. These are kind of for like Hellrider. Uh, anything else I can't do. Boros Reckoner and Locks and Spider. You know, the usual suspects for the Abrupt Decay Victim of Night combination. So anyway, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take these treasure, treasure finds out right now and just throw in these Abrupt Decays and we will play a game here. Uh, this is Kevin from RogueDeckBuilder.com. Thanks for watching.